light we move into transportation of the fields at higher order than just gans. We move into understanding of transportation of fields, not collection of fields. We collected enough, we call them all sorts of ganses. We know they come out, and now how do we attract one to another? How do we structure the process that attracts one to another? Sun and three planets. You can use it as sun, or you can use it as central line, where this becomes the central line of the universe, but has a beginning and an end. You have to decide how you play with the fields of this light to diverge and converge. You have to look at it, there is a third dimension to it, in the back. Understanding of change of gravitational fields is important. Understanding the Magnetical and gravitational changes is important. And then you understand that how you transport the fields, what we call the light, starts and begins the game of the space. Because if you understood how the light travels from this point to this point. Now, when you put this collectively together, and you call it your spaceship, and you understand how you created the spaceship, then now your spaceship becomes between you and the point of destination. And then if you understand this in a deeper way, it becomes one thing. The spaceship has become that light. Moving from one point to another. How you play with gravitational magnetic field inside this system, as a light, as a property of the light, decides your speed. Decides the direction of approach, decides the intensity of approach. Then, one thing is for sure. The speed of universe is the new game. Because the light on this planet has its own strength of manifestation is not the light of universe. When the man comes wise, he will see new things, understands new dimensions and understands that game of the space is not the speed of light of the man in the light of sun. Universe has its own light strength or what we call, you call the speed of light, we call the speed of the travel of the field in the universe. It's totally different. And if you understand it, you can relate to its destination and its departure, the speed of the travel at the universal speed is millions of times bigger than faster than what man can imagine. Because now, you carry a spectrum of fields, and then, you work in the dimension of the universal speed, beyond the boundary of the Earth condition.
the speed of light under this is what the earth gravitational magnetic field decides. The speed of light in the universe is not what the man has been able to do. There is no limit to it. Depends on your strength and depends on what strength gravitational and magnetical you produce. Man has got to understand this, otherwise it will fail in creation of his spaceship. We have to move in understanding more towards behavior of fields from our cores to each other than how we load up, what we load up. The space fuel for the new generation of the space reactors has never been introduced. That's why many of you have a problem you might create a lift, but you cannot create physicality. It's a different ball game. As one of the knowledge seekers wrote to me, you are not teaching everything, are you? You are afraid of human race. I'm not afraid of anything, because you don't understand yet, so I spoon feed you, till you recover that you can walk, then you can eat everything you like. So, with this process, understanding the definition and separation of the light from the source, because one thing which is never understood, and a lot of you overlooked, once the four field forces of the planet and the sun interact and create a plasma, now this plasma is an entity on its own and makes its own decision. Nothing to do with what Earth is doing, or the Sun has done. Now is a closed cluster. It decides, is a space job. If it is stronger in gravitational magnetic, in one way or the other, but the law of physics, stronger feeds the weaker. And in trying to feed, it moves into and directed to. And that's why it comes to feed so fast, that it creates balance, it leaves residual as light, as we see. In interaction with the field of the Earth itself. When we look at the space pictures of the Earth, we don't see the light coming up that way. We see Earth as a shining ball around itself. That's where this property comes in. that the structure dictates by itself the shape of the planet, the shielding of the planet, the position of the planet. And then, now you understand, your spaceship is no planet. Go back and read book number two, with an eye of the travel not in the eye of light. Understand the concept, not copy the pages. You can squeeze it, and you can release it. You create condition of fields as you like. It's you who decides, this much or this much. Because you decide what fields you release into and in direction of the flight. Don't forget, shielding is a structure of the plasma in both directions. If it was all light, us in a space will not see the light of the Earth. It would have been a black thing because he absorbs. So, in reality, that interaction, and interaction with the fields of what's going down, creates some fields, which shows the presence of it. If you understand this, then you understand, you can create directional motion shielding, that your field, your reactors, and your spaceship, never ever touches, or is in danger with what happens outside. 
as I always explained, this is the difference between a plane and a, a spaceship. In a plane, you have your head, you have your wings, and you have your tail. And what you get is just smoke in the back. So the front of the plane is here. In the space technology, with the protection, your system is here. Two different concepts, two different things. Here, you fly with this on the seat of your pants, hopefully nothing hits you. Here, you're so safe, nothing can penetrate you. You have to understand the structure of the light. How much light you put out, and what gravitational field forces, that is interaction with the fields of the universe, gives you a shielding. On Earth, it's very easy to create this shielding. In the space of the universe, it's not. Because, there is a fact, in deep space, is that, there are many, 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 many fields around. So, if you are not careful, your fields will look something like this, depending on who's pulling. And this is what you do not want. You don't want suddenly hitting a space without protection. Or the waves of the fields, which put pressure on, that it can deform the shape and the structure of your spaceship. Then you understand, in constructing your spaceship, you have to create a field level that is above the totality of the universal magnetic gravitational fields, that it can stand any wave field forces anywhere. Otherwise, suddenly you walk in a hot bath and the sugar disappears. <clears throat> Now, many of you understand why your spaceships does not make shape. Your staff or patients has a trouble. Till you don't do these test drives, till you don't do these elevations of understanding of the totality, you have a problem with flying. spaceship sits there, but the point of your first reactor, in conjunction with the other reactors, moves ahead of you. So, you always travel into chasing a tail, like a dog chasing his tail. You have to move, as you were doing here, while holding the center of gravity, gravitational field force of the imagine core, you have to create another one in front of you. That not only becomes your shield, but it becomes a point that this trying to catch up, moves you at the highest speed into its position. Your strength in the center has to be so much higher, that the secondary field you create lower, trying to feed the same process of the light, it creates a motion. You don't need a position of a moon, or a star, to travel into. You can come here, because you create your point, to go there, travel there, and if you like, travel to there. You don't need to understand, the process of, central gravitational field forces. You are in the ocean of the fields of the universe. And, this forces to create the, Positioning is what you see in most of the UFOs, which we see on this planet. They suddenly take off. Because they have this major imaginary point, or what we call a free plasma, now they create a new one, in any direction they like. So this tries to catch up. But you have to understand, how you bring the fields to be ahead. This process has been added into the Chinese space system. 
but not in public. I have taught one of my closest students how it works. The knowledge has been shared, but in time it will be released. We do not need moon to take up from Earth. We create our own moon, any position of the universe. And the speed of travel is the ratio, the difference between the strength in the center and the point we create. So, you don't need to look for somewhere to go. You decide where you go. You have full control. At the same time, due to the way you structure it, you can create multi-multi layers of different shield strength. When you decide on the space travel, you have to be collectively understanding the totality of the space work. You cannot be off your guard for one second. You have to understand the ratio of your fields, you have to understand the ratio of your fuel, you have to understand the ratio of the fields in your craft, in respect to its environment which is traveling. You cannot have the behavior of traveling in the water, as you have going through a solid wall. You cannot create the same condition behavior, if you are in a massive plasma environment, of a very high order in the center of the galaxy, or towards the center of the universe, than what you do on the edge of the universe, or the edge of the galaxies. In the past many, many, many uh, spaceships have been lost due to the mistake of the captain and it happened to human race. Understand how this is part of the space flight travel and you have to understand when you program or you decide your flights. You remember, you have a thing called a sun. If the distance from the sun, is to its boundary, is long enough, that the field can reduce in strength, you start creating particles. We call it planetary. And in many cases, the pilots make a mistake, is that they do not allow these particles to return as light, but by mistake, it becomes a stone bullet, shot down to its own, planet, its own surface. Because the pilot is not aware that, in respect to the environment, he has created a field that the reduction in the strength is faster than what he calculated. So, in a way, he stones himself. And as he hasn't created the second shield for it, it destroys itself. The space technology has to be understood in its totality, not just trying to take off and move. It has to be on the field strength, <clears throat> and understanding the transportation of the field, which now, here, as a spaceship, you are in a matter state, now you behave as a wave, as a light, and then you become to another point, is the creation of your manifestation of your that point. Book one, book two, book three. Because when you arrive, you become the origin of the life, origin of the sun structure where you came to. And in the time, as many, many people have done in the past, you come to space, you enjoy the scenery, 
you create your own planet. Many of the stars you see in the sky and you say it's a star, that a spaceship which have made this condition. Because the view is good, you want to go from, uh, let's say, London to Lake District, you just don't go, you see a nice scenery, it's a beautiful mountain, hill, the ships on there and everything else, you take a break, I stop here, I like the view. I put a tent up, I open the caravan, now your caravan is your spaceship. In this point, I see beautiful things in the space, I want to stop. This is the privilege to create your own dimension. The same applies with the soul of the 